everyone. I've got a few things to show you today. I went to Macy's last night and picked up a couple of things at the department store counters. I don't buy a lot of stuff at department stores like that. I usually go to Sephora or Ulta, but I picked up a few things last night that I really like and I wanted to tell you about them. I have them on today. I have at least one of them on today. I'm about to put the other one on, but one of the things I picked up was this new limited edition Lancome Blush Subteal Duo. It's fingerprinty, I know. It's nasty. Anyway, um, I saw these. They had this one and then they had a different, another color. This one is called Blush Simplicity. Simplicite. And what it is, it's a powder blush and cream highlighter combo. Pretty interesting. They had two different shades. This one I thought was the more wearable of the two. It's just a nice dusty matte pink. Um, very light, very everyday, and then it comes with the cream blush over the uh, cream highlighter over here. This one is a powder blush. The blush is a powder blush, and then this is the cream highlighter. What was kind of different about this to me was the way the highlighter felt and the way it feels putting it on. I put it on today with just my finger, uh, not a brush. I'm trying sort of that route with these cream and liquid highlighters. This one is just so pretty on. Now, when you feel it, it is softer, I would say greasier kind of, than, say, the Becca Pored highlighters, um, which is the only other cream highlighter I can really think of to compare these two. This is softer, liquidier, um, greasier, if you will, not really negative greasy, you know. But um, this is what you get for the highlight from and it. And I'll show you up close. It I just dotted it on today and then sort of blended it in. I do have the blush on as the, my color. What this gives you is a really nice, um, very buildable. Uh, the ability to build this one is great. A very buildable highlight but this one has a little bit of noticeable glitter particles in it. it kind of wow. has some noticeable glitter. I don't know if you're seeing that or not, but there is noticeable bits of glitter in it. It's still, um, I think, a neat product, and I love the side-by-side -side aspect of the blush and the highlighter. The blush is a very matte pink. There's no glitter or um, sheen to it at all. The other color that they had was sort of a very violet um, color, and then it had the matching cream highlighter. I felt like, you know, I put it on, and you can put it on sheer, and it doesn't look quite so in your face, but I thought this one I would get more wear out of. A pretty set. I love the the matchingness here and I do like Lancome blushes. Their blush subteals just they're very um, they wear a long time they're just very pretty. So I got a deluxe sample from Sephora of the new NARS Audacious Mascara. Everything's audacious this day, these days. We've got the Audacious Lipstick, we've got the Audacious Mascara, we've got Lancome's at Audacity in Paris. Um, everything's audacious. But anyway, um, I got this and I thought I would try it out. I have a bunch of mascaras that I just really love, so, you know, I probably would not switch. But I thought I'd try it out anyway. Now, I have that on today. today I did put two coats on the top here. If you can see how those went on, I did put it on the bottom. It did a pretty good job of volumizing my bottom lashes, which I'm starting to see that I really have to volumize my bottom lashes. They are too spindly and too skinny, so I need some volume down there. Um, putting it on, though, let me tell you about that. Putting it on, um, this sucker does not mess around on this brush. This is a serious brush. Be careful putting this on because this is one of those molded plastic bristle brushes and putting this up against your lash line I feel like I'm putting a cactus up there these are some serious serious hooks in this puppy they are really spiky and they're very long so as you're putting it up against your lash line be really careful I was really pretty nervous putting this up there these are the longest and look at how they hook can you see that? These are the longest spikes I've ever seen on a molded plastic brush like this. That being said, 
This brush catches every single hair in your lash line. It's amazing. The only thing I have to say though that's negative about it is it does not seem to deposit a whole lot of product on with each swipe. So I did have to end up putting two coats of mascara on which I don't usually do. Usually with all of my mascaras I just have to put basically one really thorough coat going all the way root to tip. This one I had to put two coats on because it doesn't seem to deposit that much. I think the brush is so busy separating all your lashes out that it doesn't, it doesn't have enough oomph to deposit a whole lot of the color on there. So this is a good mascara. I may end up getting one of these because of the way it caught every single lash. It's pretty amazing. The other item I picked up at Macy's last night. These are new. Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Lip products. This is a like a liquid lip lacquer type of deal. It's not going to be a matte finish for you on this one. I picked up a color called Bittersweet um, and they had a lot of colors. There was really only one other one that I liked and it was sort of a mauve nude and of course they were sold out of it. It is the most popular color. These are really a nice thick lacquer. Smells very candy like I don't really know how to describe it. It's um, like brown sugar, maybe. Hard to describe. Anyway, it has this doe foot that is bent. Very unusual. Um, so this bent side really picks up a lot of product. I'm going to put this on for you and let you see. This is really nice thick lip, lip lacquer. It's very um, moist feeling. It's very thick lacquery feeling. Like it's going to stay in place. Good coverage on it. I do see this is a very dark color so I do see a little bit of shearing out right through here. What I like to do is put it on with the curved out side all over and then what I've been doing is taking this curved inside that has a whole lot of product in it and going over my lower lip and it just hugs that lower lip. It's pretty cool and then it deposits quite a bit of color on there. Nice shiny coverage. Really like it. I'd like to get more of these. So I've got another eye look from this wonderful, love it, Stardust, Vegas Nay, Too Faced, etc, etc kit. I uh, did the purple look today, the one that they call Repost Rebel. I followed the little card. Oh my god, this palette. Oh my god, this palette. It is making me crazy. I want to use it every day. Um, I still feel like, you know, see my previous review on this palette. I did another look. I just feel like I have barely touched this palette. Like I need, the, like there's five more looks in here that I can do. Never before have I gotten a palette and thought I can get this many looks out of it and I'm excited about each one. Usually I'll get a palette and there'll be one or two looks. Okay, you know, this one I feel like it just can go on and on with the different color combinations. They really thought about what colors they wanted to put in this palette. Thank you for taking time to watch my video. I'll see you next time. And I'm sure I've got more of this Stardust palette to show you.